Hey guys, my name is Southern Gunner 27 I'm back into the garden. It's probably going to be one of my last videos I'm going to do for a while until next spring. And it's starting to get cold. I wanted to do this video before it got to that point. I can't do any more of these videos. And I'm probably going to do more of hunting, trapping, etc. And saving up bait for fishing for next year. But this video here is today about wild strawberries. Why do I like wild strawberries? Well, they're healthier than the other strawberries we got at the farmer's market. And they have more minerals in the leaves. If your people are looking for make a salad out of them, or any traditional methods with it, I would use these. And another thing I like about them is they produce a runner to make another plant. And the first year actually produces the most berries, and the second year produces less and less and less. But the second layer produces more runners, if that makes any sense. And they do start to get new leaves, even now it's still growing in fall, and it's November or something. Yeah, November 5th, I believe. And why do they call strawberries? They, people just put straws down, protect the berries from the bugs, and the birds, and squirrels, and anything like that. And, let's see, I like them because, you know, they're easy to find, cheap, cheap. I don't found them in my front yard here. That's the side of the ground, but they're already starting to produce runners all around here. Why do you need to buy something that you can just find in your front yard? You look down there, I found a couple of them grown, like a weed nail. So see you guys around. This was, was the history of the wild strawberry and uses of strawberries. So see you guys around.